Coming to you live from Bangor, Maine. Now it's time for... Let's Meet the Game Dame! And here's your host, Jen Shepard! to the premiere episode of Meet the Game Dame. I'm Jen Shepard by day and the Game Dame on Monday nights. I am super excited to have you join us for this first ever game show from Penobscot Theater Company. Uh, behind the screens, you can't see them, is John Seidenberg. He's my titan of tech. And Reed Davis, who I think you can actually hear, will be keeping score throughout the show for me. Everybody say hi, Reed. We can't hear you, but he felt it anyway. So I hope you're ready to meet our contestants because I am ready to introduce them to you. Coming to you all the way from Bar Harbor, Maine, he's the pastor of the Bar Harbor Universal Universalist Congregational Church. It's Rob Benson. Hi, Rob. Hey, Jen, how are you? Thanks for having uh, me. Hey, you're welcome. I like your energy, sir. All right, and coming to you live all the way from Islesford, Maine, she's a retired lobster woman and an expert bread maker, it's Mary Shook. Hi, Mary. Hi. I'm shook by your presence. You look fantastic tonight. And she's a therapist at Sweetgrass Therapy as well as an improviser with Queen City Improv. It is none other than Maureen O'Malley. Hi, Maureen. There you go. This is a good check to make sure that your mic is unmuted. And finally, <laughs> he is a waiter extraordinaire. And he's waited at such places as Improv Acadia and also Leary's Landing. If you want it, he'll get it for you. It's Bryce Lambert. Hey. Hi, Bryce. Hi. Oh, for welcome me. to the game. You're so welcome. It's so nice to see all of you. And I am excited that you are here tonight. Are you ready to play? Meet yeah. the game game. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what I like. All right. The first round is going to be trivia. I'm going to tell you that there will be three rounds of three questions. And each question that you get right is worth one point. You are going to meet him in just a second, but I will just say when this gentleman reads you a question, wait till he's done reading it, then you can raise your hand and you can try to guess the answer. If you get it wrong, someone else can try for the steal, which is still just one point. And I now introduce you to, he's a mild mannered technical, assistant technical director by day, that's Zach Whitenack, but at night he becomes Lord of the Lore. <laughs> Welcome Lord of the Lore. Oh, he's not there yet. <laughs> he or here. Good enough, I will be there. Don't you worry. He's invisible, but he's still very powerful. So here's what's going to happen is he's going to come on screen in just a second because John is working very hard to make sure that that is going to happen. When he does come on screen, oh, you can see some of the background. It's like the curtains being pulled back. When he does come on screen, Zach has written all these wonderful questions that he will ask all of our guests. Does everyone understand the rules? Even though the audience can't see you, they can hear you, contestants. Yes. Yes. Yep. Got it. Awesome. Great. So uh, let's see if we can get Zach here up on the screen. I hope we can. Otherwise, he's going to have to whisper the. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Zach, and take it away. Hello, everybody. Hello, contestants. Welcome to the first ever trivia round of the game game. So there's going to be three different categories, three individual distinct rounds uh, with a different theme for each one. So without further ado, I'm going to get ahead, go ahead and get started on round one. The first question, what U.S. state has the longest border with Canada? Is it A, Wisconsin, B, Minnesota, C, Maine, or D, Alaska? I see Rob's hand first. A, Alaska. Uh, Alaska is the correct answer. Yeah, oh, hey, Alaska, yeah, there it is. Wonderful. <laughs> My sheet does not line up with the correct multiple choice answers, <laughs> but I have all of the right answers here, so don't you worry. <laughs> So that is one point for Rob. And then moving on to the second question. What US state is known as the natural state? 
Is it Minnesota, Arkansas, Colorado, or New Mexico? Maureen. Colorado. Sorry, that is not correct. Ah. Give me one second. Mary. New Mexico. Sorry, that is also incorrect. Do we have a third? I saw Bryce's hand. Uh, I, I feel bad going for this, but Arkansas. But correct. <laughs> Arkansas is, is the natural just, state. It was just I, flashing on the screen, so I don't know. It doesn't matter. Give you that get point. it. You get it. It doesn't okay. matter. Hey, you got your points by any means necessary, so I respect it. <laughs> All right. And so for the final question of the U.S. state round, how many U.S. states border the Pacific Ocean? Is it four, five, six, or three? Bryce. Uh, four. Sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> I saw Maureen's hand. Say three. one more time. Three. Sorry, that is not right. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Rob. Five. Correct, it's five. Hawaii and Alaska are always the two I forget. They're, they're, they always sneak in there. Well, wonderful. That concludes the first round. Going on to the second round, we are delving into the world of music. So the first question is, what group did the Wilson brothers form in 1961? Was it Black Sabbath, Blue Oyster Cults, the Beach Boys, or Sly and the Family Stone? I saw Rob put his hand up excitedly. See, the Beach Boys. Correct, it is the Beach Boys. Good old Brian Wilson, still in that Pet Stone score. All right, and next question. What singing group was once known as the Quarrymen? Was it the Beach Boys, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, or the Temptations? Maureen. The Rolling Stones. Sorry, that is not right. Bryce. Uh, I think it was the Beatles. Correct. The Beatles were Yay! once known as the Quarrymen. Wonderful. This is... And if you have been to PTC, if you were here last season, uh, this question might be rather easy for you. So, who wrote more than 1,000 songs, including This Land Is Your Land? Was it Bob Dylan, <laughs> Johnny Cash, Woody Guthrie, or Elvis? Saw Maureen. Woody Guthrie. Correct. It is Woody Guthrie. Amazing. Wonderful show we put on. Wonderful musician. <laughs> and finally, we're on to our third round, the round of theater trivia. He had to do it. It's a theater. Come on, people. <laughs> so question number one, what is the alternate title of the play, The Boy Who Could Not, Who Would Not Grow Up? Tuck Everlasting, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, Peter Pan, or Hamlet? Rob. Peter Pan. Correct, it is Peter Pan. Wonderful show as well. <laughs> How, all right, next question. How many known plays did Shakespeare write? Was it 35, 37, 39, or 41? Bryce. 37. Correct. He is known to have written 37 plays under the entity of Shakespeare. My favorite, one of my favorite numbers. So oh, <laughs> excellent. And for the final question, what show has had the longest Broadway run? Is it The Producers, Phantom of the Opera, The Lion King, or Hamilton? Mary. Phantom of the Opera? Correct. It is Phantom of the Opera. So yes, thank you all for participating in the first round of trivia. Reed, what are the scores looking like? So we are actually tied for third place with Maureen and Mary each getting one point. And second place is Bryce with three points and taking the lead is Rob with four points. Ooh, Zach, do you have a tie breaking question for them? I do actually. I have several different ones actually. <laughs> So uh, this one will not have a slide because we did not prepare for it, but I have the question here on mine. What is the only US state that ends with the letter K? <laughs> 
Gotcha. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> no. I think we need another question. Oh my goodness. The answer is New York. Oh, oh. <laughs> I I do have another multiple choice. This is theater related. So let's see. Who directed Cabaret and All That Jazz? Was it Cole Porter, <laughs> Stephen Kennedy Murphy, The Lion, oh, whoops, Joel Fink, or Bob Fosse? Mary. Fosse? Yes, it was Bob Fosse. Yeah! So, thank you all. Wonderful round. An inciting end with the tiebreaker. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Lord. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, Zach. Oh, I do think, unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to somebody, and it is the wonderful Maureen O'Malley. Maureen, I'm going to send you a card, a thank you card, as well as a Penobscot Theater Company sticker in the mail. And everybody, let's blow her kisses. Mm, thank you, Maureen. Thank you so much. You did a wonderful job. But I have to say bye-bye for now. Bye. Congratulations to Bryce, Mary, and Rob. You have made it through to the second round, and I am very excited that you have done that indeed. Now, listen, because you made it to the second round, you get to meet some celebrities of Penobscot Ooh. Theater Company. <laughs> oh, first of all, she has pipes of steel, and she's platinum blonde with an edge. I'm talking about Heather Libby. Oh, hey, Heather. Hi. Hi. Yeah! Hey! Hey, hi! And then we have, he was actually on Jeopardy and he writes for the uh, main edge. It's Alan Adams! Hello! <laughs> and she is beguiling as she is intelligent, as well as a dancer, singer, and an actress. That is Grace Livingston Kramer! Hello, Grace! And right next to her is her husband, and they probably aren't that far away from each other. He's also an actor, and he's just behind Paul Bunyan in terms of height in Bangor, Maine. It's Ira Kramer! Hi, Hi Ira. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the game, Dave. Thanks for coming on here. I'm so excited to have you. How are you all? So One, good. So great. Thank you. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I'm excited that you are here. And you are here. You are going to play with our contestants. What do you say? The way that this works is I am going to read a statement with a fill in the blank in it. Now the contestant will come up with the word or the phrase that they think should be in that blank. While they're thinking of it, the celebrity should be writing it down on a piece of paper so that we can see whether or not the contestant got a match. I'll give you an example, Rob, Mary, and Bryce. It might work like this. I would say Green Gary is so green, he won't even throw away his... How might you fill in the blank, Mary? Gross cheese. <laughs> yes, perfect. You would definitely not get a match, but I would think it was funny. So it's worth <laughs> it, okay? It is worth it. And that is always worth it. You can fill it in with something that makes total sense or whatever random silliness you would like to throw in. And I am here for it. Any questions from the contestants? Are you clear on how to play? What do you say? Crystal um, clear. What would Good. be a better answer than gross nope, I, there isn't a better answer that's the perfect answer cool. i'm nope. just saying it's highly unusual and i admire that <laughs> so let us play what do you say the first contestant in what do you say is going to be rob i do believe okay rob are you ready i'm ready i'm ready all right here you go rusty ralph loves to work out every day Rusty Ralph is so rusty, he has to use a blank to get out of bed in the morning. He has to use a blank to get out of bed in the morning. Rob, how would you fill in that blank? What do you say? Crowbar. A crowbar, pretty good. Hopefully our celebrities were done writing and they aren't influenced because I should have waited to check with them. But this is the first show and you didn't pay anything to get in, so calm down. Okay! So, <laughs> really not to mention, it's my game show, not yours. And you don't know where I live, I hope. All right, Heather, let's see what you wrote down. Did you write down crowbar? What'd you, what'd you write down? Let's see. I wrote shovel. 
Shovel. Mm. Oh, pretty <laughs> good. good. Another household tool because the crowbar is a household tool, right? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Let's see. Alan, how about you? Do we have uh, a match there? Uh, I actually wrote oil can. <laughs> that makes so much sense, Alan. I should give you a point. All right, Alan gets a point. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Alan gets a point. All right, how about you, Grace? What did you write down? You know, I don't know. I wrote a hose. Oh, <laughs> so you're kind of like Mary and you are going to jive really well together. I can yeah. tell, definitely. Yep. All right, Ira, let's see if we can get a match for Rob. Do we have a match, Ira? Ira, are you there? A winch. I think you misspelled it. I think it should be spelled with Oh, did I? Is it with the Y? No, I'm only kidding you. I'm making a joke. It's, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's a Canadian no, thing. It's how you spell it in Canada. Oh, you spell it? He spelled it exactly right. I don't want to offend Canada. We're already working on that as a whole country. So, uh, Rob, you didn't get any matches. But let's move on to the second question. Sorry, Rob, you'll have one more chance to see if you can get a match. And now next up to see if they can get a match is Mary. Hey, Mary, are you ready? I'm... Now this time, you are. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great, PTC celebrities, I will give you time to write it down before I ask Mary for her answer. I swear. All right, Mary, this is the question that you get to fill in the blank. I have the world's best informed cat she's trained to use the blank to get all her news she's trained to use the blank to get all her news and if you know my cat she has thumbs so i probably could train her to do whatever <laughs> so uh ptc celebrities have you finished writing down nope no nope. all right they'll need a couple more minutes mary you made any bread lately um i'm gonna make bread tomorrow no way what bread are you gonna make It'll probably just be like a basic kind of spelt loaf. There's no such thing as basic where you're concerned, baby. <laughs> All right, <laughs> celebrities, you ready? You got it written down? Everybody give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. All right, Mary, I have the world's best informed cat. She's trying to use the blank to get all her news. How would you fill in that blank? I'm gonna go with computer. Yeah, she's trying to use her computer. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're going to start with Alan first. Alan, what did you write down? I, well, uh, I went in a very different direction. Uh, I said, whiskers. Oh, <laughs> that's so smart. She could sense the news through her whiskers. Like they can feel earthquakes. I'm just okay, saying. Moving. Just thinking it's a good answer. No one, listen, this is a judgment free zone. Look at the wig I'm wearing. Okay, Grace, how did you fill in the blank? Um, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, that's a computer. That's a computer. I'm going to call that a match and give Mary a point. That is a computer. How about you, Ira? What did you say? We got another match? Yeah, I wrote the uh, cat a log. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That is both bad and good. That's great. <laughs> oh, the cat along. More of that Canadian humor that you're all so famous for. Okay, so Heather, how about you? What did you say? I said newspaper. Oh, and that's like an old computer. Mary, this is a point. Okay, it's my game show. I can do whatever I want. All right. All right, Mary, good job. Let's bring Thank Bryce you. under the screen. How about Bryce? You ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. Bryce, you've got two blanks to fill. Let me read the question for you. Celebrities, get ready for this one. This area of Maine is called Down East because it's down east of blank and not blank. This area of Maine is called Down East because it's down east of blank and not blank. So let's give them a couple minutes there, Bryce. That's some sweet guitars. You said you just yeah. hung them up, huh? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, just had to take a couple of uh, of tries to get one of them hung up because sure. kept missing the uh, the stud. Sure. Hey, I'm always hung up on a stud until I can find it, and then I get it right in one take. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, PTC celebrities, give me a thumbs up if you are ready. Just give me a thumbs up. They're not ready yet. Bryce, do you play the guitar? I don't think you do. Uh, I do not. I thought maybe I you not. did. You sing? No. Beautiful. I do sing. Thank you. 
You're welcome. You are very welcome. Do you make bread? I'm, listen, I'm I angling do, for some not. fresh baked bread. If you can't tell, I, I, I do not make bread. Uh, well, I, that's too bad. Yeah. Well, I, right. I heard that Mary does. But. She does. You good? You were listening. PTC <laughs> celebrities, are you ready? Thumbs up if you are As ready. I'll ever be. Yeah, that's right. That's the right answer. All right, Bryce. This area of Maine is called Down East because it's Down East to blank and not blank. How do you fill in those blanks? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go with Canada for the first one, for, okay. for Ira, and uh, uh, not New Hampshire, I guess. I don't know. That's a tough So one. Bryce says this area of Maine is called Down East because it's down east of Canada and not New Hampshire. <laughs> correct. That's absolutely correct. Let's start with Grace. Grace, what did you say? I said um, <clears throat> because it's down east of a metropolitan and not mass holes. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> not a match, but a definite opinion. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Ira, how about you? What did you say? Uh, I wrote um, because it's down east of Canada and not Russia. Yeah, <laughs> Russia is the same as New Hampshire. So Please. that's a point. Absolutely. Oh, and also you should get a point for the hard time that I've been giving you for absolutely no reason. All right, Heather, what did you say? I said because it's down east of here and not there. That is hey. very Maine. Oh. Very Maine. I love That's it. Maine. I love it. That's a point for Heather, but not you, Bryce. Okay, <laughs> Alan, what did you say? Uh, I went uh, it because it's down east of winds and not waves. Whoa, oh. there's a poet among yeah. us. Yeah. And it's Alan <laughs> Yes, but not a match. So nope, Bryce, that's one all. match for you. Good work, good work. Let's have Rob back up on the screen for his second chance at what do you say? Okay, Rob, are you ready? Yeah, I'm totally ready. All right. Terrible <clears throat> Tanya can't get anything right. She can't boil water. She can't go up and up escalator. She can't even blank. Okay. So terrible Tanya can't get anything right. She can't boil water. She can't go up the up escalator. She can't even blank. All right, when you're ready, PTC celebs, throw your thumbs up there so I know that you are ready. I don't know what Ira's doing. Rob, you bake bread. Is that something you got going on there? Oh yeah, I bake bread and I sing. So, you know, there we go. Wow, you're like if we took Mary and Bryce and put them in a machine from that movie, The Fly, and then you would come out, I think. <laughs> it would be horrifying. You'd walk right? out. You'd be, yeah, no, sorry. I don't think it'd be horrifying at all. It'd be like, it's the perfect union of these two humans. Um, that's, well, I, yep, that's what I'm going with, Rob. Perfect. So are you ready, PTC celebs? Do you have it written down? Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Heather? OK, great. Boy, there's nothing like confidence. It can really sell anything. <laughs> So terrible Tanya can't get anything right. She can't boil water. She can't go up and up escalator. She can't even blank. What do you think, Rob? Load the dishwasher properly. <laughs> she can't load the dishwasher properly. My husband, Larry's Finger Hut, would tell you that that's every human except for him. So let's see. Uh, we're pal Ira. We're going to start with you. What do you say, Ira? She can't even. Can't even fall down. Perfect. It is perfect, but not a match, but it is exactly perfect. All right, Alan, what do you say? She can't even stand herself. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought more existentially. That would no, this, oh. uh, this, she needs help. And Alan, you're the guy to give it to her. You know what I mean? Okay, not a match, but really made me laugh. So another point for Alan. You're really coming along, Alan. All right, Heather, she can't even, what do you say? I had, I had type, she can't even type. She can't even type. Listen, that's a machine and that's a machine. I'm gonna call it a match, okay. Uh, All right, yes. Grace, Grace, what did you say? She can't even go down a slide. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> oh. Listen, none of you owe anybody an apology. All of you are doing. Perfect. This is just what I dreamed of when I thought of this show. I, I'm not kidding. Okay, Rob, I think you got one match, so congratulations. Now let's move on to Mary. Hi, 
Mary, you're back for your second, what do you say? Here we go. Maureen was there for a second just to remind us of where we might all end up. <laughs> Mary, here's how it goes. Here, are you ready to finish? <laughs> I don't mean that. So, sorry. Okay. Hungry Hal has a great appetite. He'll even eat his blank. Hungry Hal has a great appetite. He'll even eat his blank. Okay. So everybody's writing their answers down. Hey, Mary, you've gone in the ocean recently? Mary does polar bear plunges, everybody. It was, it's been like, I think we went New Year's Day. I was going to go sometime the last few days, but yeah. I just haven't, haven't made it happen. Probably will in the next couple though. Hopefully the ocean will still be there for you. I think it will. <laughs> okay, PTC celebrities, are you ready? Give me a thumbs up. Heather? Yeah, you look, Heather, you ready? Oh yeah, give me that pucker. Okay, good. Hungry <laughs> Hal has a great appetite. He'll even eat his... Blank. What do you say, Mary? I had to go with my intuition. The first thing that came to mind, it was toe jam. His toe jam. Sure, not bread. Why would bread come to your mind? Okay, toe jam. <laughs> toe jam. Let's start with Heather. Heather, what did you say? <laughs> I wrote toe jam. hat. Oh, hat. That's a good one. That's a good one. We'll come back. Let's see. That's a very good one because who can eat a hat? Well, he can. All right, Alan, what did you say? Uh, he, 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 he'll even eat his feelings. Oh. <laughs> Man, Alan, you're really on a self-care jag tonight. <laughs> I am here for it. I am here for it, okay? All right, but it's not a match. All right, Grace, what did you say? Do we have a match? His garbage? Oh, his garbage. Like, I think so. garbage, maybe? Grace? I'm going to give you a match. All right. That is a match, everybody. I wrote, what do you say? Uh, I wrote, uh, he'll even eat his hip hat. Whoa! Uh, Heather and Ira get a match, which means that they both get a point. Mary, just one point for you. Oh, congratulations, everybody. Good work. Our <laughs> what to say. I'm going to bring Bryce back. Here we come. You ready, Bryce? Oh, I'm ready. And uh, I, I wanted to ask uh, Alan how his trip to the cat show was because he's on the comedy tour. All right, Bryce, leave the insults to me. Okay, great. <laughs> Paul Bunyan loves being a part of Bangor. The Blue Ox loves it too. They love to be on Main Street and show everyone their blank. They love to be on Main Street and show everyone their blank. Okay, while they're thinking about it, and Bryce is thinking about it as well, I'll let folks know who are watching from away that there's a giant Paul Bunyan statue right outside the Cross Center in Bangor, Maine. I'll also let you know if you haven't ordered pizza from Portland Pie Pizza Company, there is still time. And if you say it's for Penobscot Theater Company, 10% of that sale will be donated to Penobscot Theater Company, meaning we'll get to bring you quality entertainment like this for the rest of time. Bryce, do you have an answer? And celebrities, do you all have answers? Thumbs up if you got, Grace, why do you always look like you just killed somebody? It's just an answer. All right, Bryce, are you ready? Uh, okay, Bryce, they love to be on Main Street and show everyone their blank. What do you say? Oh, man. Um, the whole world is waiting. Take the whole your time. World is <laughs> Uh, I'll say smile. Their smiles? Okay, great. Sure, their smiles. Perfect. Let's start with Alan. What do you say, Alan? Uh, they love to be on Main Street and show everyone their PVs. <laughs> yep, their PVs. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. If you look close, you'll see them. Not a match, but highly amusing. Ira, what did you say? Uh, I wrote that they love to be in Main Street and show everyone their statues of themselves. Their statues <laughs> of themselves. So they're holding a little statue. It's like an infinity picture. Not a match. But wait, actually, there are smiles on those statues. So guess what? I call it a match. That's a point for Bryce. All right, Grace, what do you say? What do you say, Grace? What I say their size. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. 
Perfect. Uh, not a match. And I will be thinking about that question for a while. Heather, what do you say? I say that they love to be on Main Street and show everyone their derriere. Oh, good one, Heather. And I guess you could call that their sideways smile. So that's a match. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's hear it for the PTC celebrities, Heather Libby, Alan Adams, Grace Livingston Kramer, and Ira Kramer. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the stage at some point. So, Reed, tell me, what are the scores? Taking the lead is Bryce with six points. And Jen, once again, we are tied for second with Robin Mary having five points. Oh, man. What should I do? Hmm. <laughs> Well, can I bring back the Trivia Master? Let me hear in my ear from my tr producer, John, if I can bring back the Trivia Master, or should I come up with him? Okay, great. The Lord of the Lore is going to come back, and he has a question to break the tie. Come back, Lord Good of luck, the Lord. Man. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello. Well, I actually have one more question right here. If not, I'm going to go bust out the old 1981 Trivia Pursuit and ask you a question about Watergate. So let's have no more <laughs> ties. Let's hear you here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Who composed Twinkle Twinkle Little Star at the age of five? Rob. Mozart? Correct. It was Mozart. Oh, yeah, Rob. Good job. Nice that answer. Means... That was a good one. Yes, it was a good one. So that means Rob will continue on. And Mary, you won't, but you did a great job, a fantastic job. Mary, you're going to get a thank you card and a Penobscot Theater Company sticker, as well as my undying respect. So let's give Mary some kisses goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mary. Thanks for playing the game game. All right. Bryce and Rob, I always knew it would come to this. So the two of you are now going to get to play Wrangle the Triangle. The way that this works is John is going to put up a triangle consisting of six squares, which you can see right now. Behind each of the squares is a word or a phrase that I'm going to get you to guess. You should know that the number on the front of the square also equates the number of points you will get for guessing that. So uh, are you clear on what the game is? So for example, if behind square number one was blue, which it's not, I would say something like, what is the sky? What is water? And Rob's jacket. And hopefully you would guess blue. If you do and you guess right, you'll hear this sound. And that means we move on to the second one. All right, any questions? Okay, the person who goes first is Rob, I do believe. All right, Rob, we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to put down my fake microphone, which is actually a pink highlighter that I colored the end of. It's not a microphone. So I'm going to put that down, and I am going to get ready to give you some clues. You ready, Rob? I'm ready. All right, 60 seconds on the clock, and let's go. Uh, let's see. This is a, a, a towel, a fish, um, a, a, lop, uh, a, a, a scallop, the shore of Maine. It has oxygen in it as well as hydrogen. What is water? Yes, awesome. Uh, this is uh, inside of a snake and a spider. Uh, also, what are guts? A Cle a Cleop <laughs> Cleopatra uh, put an asp to her breast and did this to herself. It's also, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what a snake excretes through its fangs. What is poop? No, through its fangs. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Uh, four score and seven years ago. Hey, Mary Todd, come in here. Yes, what is a, a, a suitcase or a lunch? You're going on a trip. Lunchbox. You, you go on a trip and you get your suitcase and what are you going to do to it? You pack it. Oh, you, I'm going to give that to him. Good work, Rob. You didn't get two of them, but you did get four of them. And that is a total of how many ever points that is a total Ten. of. Okay. Thanks, Rob. I'm not, I can't do that. Good work, Rob. That was awesome. Yay. Awesome. All right. Now, Bryce, I'm going to welcome you to the screen. And uh, same game, totally different clues, a totally different uh, pile. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, then let's play Wrangle the Triangle. 60 seconds on the clock and begin. 
Uh, you live right by it. It's on MDI, and everybody comes to visit it. Uh, Acadia uh, National Park. Uh, this is uh, the red when they're boiled, butter, and a bit. Uh, lobsters. Uh, this is, uh, you can do a parallel, or you can pull in. Uh, parking. This is, uh, oh, who's a good boy? Who's my booby, bobby, booby, booby? A cat, a cat or a dog? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Things yeah. you would say to a dog? Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I would have said nicknames, but anyway, okay. Uh, uh, this is, uh, you propose, and then you plan, and then this thing happens. Uh, the wedding. Wedding. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, okay, great. And then, oh, wow. And then uh, this is uh, commencement. It's also after high school, it's after college. Uh, an address, a, a speech, a big speech. It's called um, commencement. Pop gra- gra- graduation. The mortar board. The mortar board. Uh, gra- graduation. Oh, um, I'm uh, not going to accept graduation. It was too late. But you got all the other five, which is really good. Okay, congratulations, Reeds. What are, or just read, it's not plural reads. I just have one read. Read, what is the score? So taking the lead and winning the game is Bryce with 21 points. What? Rob came in with 16. Great showing. All right. Rob, great showing. Rob, you are so lucky. You are a runner up and you are going to get a thank you card, a Penobscot Theater Company sticker, as well as a $10 gift certificate from Portland Pie Company. That is actually courtesy of Portland Pie Company. And I will send that to you. Bryce, who is our winner, you are going to get the thank you card, the sticker, a t-shirt, and you're also going to get a gift certificate of your choice from one of our advertising sponsors, which is Valentine's Shoes, Natural Living Center, 11 Central, Wicked Brew, or Woodman's. We will ask you which one you'd like to get. It'll be a value of $20. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's hear it for Bryce. And let's hear it for all of our contestants. If we can bring them all back, we'll wave to them. We have Maureen O'Malley, Mary Shook, Rob Benson, and Bryce Lambert. Thanks for playing the game, Dame, as well as our celebrities, Ira Kramer, Grace Kamer, Heather, Libby, and Alan Adams. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Thanks for playing. Listen, folks, did you like what you saw? I hope so. You can become a contestant on Meet the Game Dame by going to penobscottheater.org backslash games and filling out a form. And you could be a contestant on an upcoming episode. I think I said goodbye to the Lord of the Lore. If I didn't, you were wonderful. Meanwhile, good night, everybody. And we'll see you next Monday at seven o'clock. <laughs>